This video explains how to use your check-in workstation for either fingerprint or person ID plus password. The process is the same whether you are an authorized pickup or an employee. So first you'll come in here and either hit the escape key on the keyboard if you have one or rapidly click in this border area and go to options. If you're going to be using person ID, make sure it's there. If you're going to be using a fingerprint, place the bullet point on fingerprint and you might also want to allow bypass as a standard setup and that's covered in a separate video. I'm going to exit and now we're going to go in with the fingerprint method. I'm going to go in as a brand new registration. I'm going to click on register and I'm going to enter the number that I got from the director. So enter code. I'll click continue. I'm coming in as Greg Adams in this case. I'm prompted for four samples of my fingerprint. So I'm putting down my index finger in this particular case on the fingerprint reader, and I'm holding it down until I see the next number pop up. It has four samples. Once to confirm it, you place your fingerprint down one more time. You are now registered with a fingerprint, and from now on you'd click start. I'm going to go through this process again as a person ID plus password. So in this case, we're going to register using the person ID and password. I'm going to click on the register button. The person would enter that temporary registration code that they got from the director. I'm in as Abigail Spencer. She'll be prompted to enter two separate codes. One is the person ID, the other one's the passcode. I'm going to click on enter code. This cannot be a simple number like 1111 or 1234. It's got to be somewhat complex. So I'll come in here and I entered a four digit person ID. It can be up to eight digits. I'm going to click continue. I'm now prompted to enter the password. Again, that is, has to not be a simple number and it has to be different than the person ID. And they'd enter that number and click continue and they are registered. From now on, they'll use those two sets of numbers whenever they come in by clicking on the Start button. And that's all there is to registering.